Good Friday morning, everybody, from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, actually Cherry Grove Beach, to be more specific. And we're gonna uh, try some breakfast here at a place that's been here a long time. It's uh, very popular with the locals. It's called The Shack. We ate here several years ago. Uh, pretty good breakfast, uh, down home Southern Cook, and it's located right here on Highway 9, Sea Mountain Highway, uh, headed out towards Cherry Grove. So we're gonna go into The Shack and have some breakfast this morning, so go with us. All right, here at the shack, they give their hours here Monday through Friday, breakfast 8 to 11, and Saturday, breakfast 8 to 11, and then uh, they go lunch 11 to 2. Um, looks like the same hours for every day. Uh, dinner served Monday through Saturday, 4 to 8, okay. So I guess you can come for supper those days. So, pretty nice little area. We're under, actually under a little, they got a little tent set up out here now. Let's, oh yeah, put some south in your mouth at the Shack restaurant. Lots of Here's a Friday lunch special. Of course, actually well, this is Friday. Choice of meat and three sides of the beverage, 10.99. Chicken bog, hamburger steak, fried chicken, grilled chicken breast, and fried or grilled fish. And there's your sides you can get with it. And the dessert. You come in, you seat yourself wherever you want to sit, I guess. Shack is a non-smoking restaurant, good for them. All right, let's head in. Got some nautical items on the wall here. Got a puffer fish up there. I'm gonna grab these minis and we can record those more. They're at the table. Good idea. Here's a little map of the Grand Strand area. All right, welcome aboard. the breakfast menu so have you decided what you're going to get yet while i pan around show the inside of the restaurant without hopefully disturbing other patrons i don't want to eat a lot so i don't actually, either we're I'm meeting up with some friends from youtube tonight yeah so. they have something called loaded trash Lo loaded trash that sounds good what it's is it it's a shack favorite so it's grits topped with an egg the way you like it cheese sausage and bacon there's a picture of it well that lay on your chest <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get that one. I'm still recovering from that Brazilian steakhouse last night. <laughs> so here, yeah, let me go ahead and get this too. Um, Those are lunch specials. But there wasn't a big spill. Let me try to get up close on that a little bit. It's a lot to read. I'm going to go fast. You, you just have to pause. It's good. It's good. This is the other side. I don't know if that's the same or not. One side says lunch specials, the other says dinner specials. Okay, Shaughnessy has found yet another menu. I don't know what the difference is in all these menus, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. Either my vision's blurry or that's not focusing very well. I don't know what the... I hope you can see that. I'm not wearing my glasses, so it could be me. Oh, 
Try to set that down there. Another minute. Now, Cherry Grove Beach right here, um, that's the pier I fish off of, actually has the distinction of catching the world record tiger shark. Um, that's actually a picture of it. And I heard it was caught from the pier. I don't see how they would have ever gotten it up the pier. I'm sure they did. But uh, it doesn't tell how big it was here, but I want to say it was about 1,800 pounds. Uh, you'd have to check me on that. But uh, that was a massive shark. And it was caught right here in Cherry Grove, South Carolina. So I just looked up the information on that shark and it weighed in at 1,780 pounds, but the article also said it was not weighed until the next day after it was caught. So they estimate the weight at the time it was caught was 2,000 pounds. So how'd you like to be in the ocean and see that thing coming up for you? No, I mean, if I was standing on the pier looking down, that would be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all something. I fish from that pier a lot. Uh, if you saw some of the things from the beach that we see from that pier, you might not get in. Yeah, that's true. You may not. You've been out there with me, haven't you? Yes, I have. Yeah, we've seen many, many sharks. Shark. Never, never any that big. I've seen some six or eight footers before, mm -hmm. many times. And we've seen a lot of stingrays, jellyfish. In fact, um, if you go to my other channel, this is one I've had for years, uh, Derek H. 1969. There's actually a video of me cleaning a bluefish and throwing the head of the fish into the water, and you'll see three sharks come up for the head. So if you look under that channel, that video should be on there. It's been about 10 years ago since I put it on. But uh, we're just up there, and I'm just cleaning the fish that I've caught. We're going to take it back and fry it. And uh, somebody says, hey, there's sharks down there. I'm just throwing this stuff in. Mm -hmm. So then... Um, I get the camera out and I tell my son to throw the head in. You'll hear me say throw the head in. And when he does, it, three sharks come up for it. So, uh, anyway. Interesting to see, but scary to think about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never one that big. Yeah. <laughs> right, there's Shaughnessy's, um, what is that, loaded trash? Loaded trash, maybe. I can't find it on the menu. <laughs> so much I, I got it wrong a minute ago off camera, so <laughs> we won't get into that. That's why she's laughing at me. Then, all right, there's mine, two eggs, grits, and bacon, and she's coming back with the toast. Everything looks good, so we're going to dig in, and we'll let you know what we think. All right, I wanted to get some of these pictures here of the Cherry Grove area over the years. Uh, there were some people sitting here when we got here, so there's actually an aerial view of the pier. I stand out there on the end of that pier at night time when we come down in May and uh, catch shark. Really neat the older pictures of the area. There's that little outfit right there. Huh. Step over here right quick. Well that has changed a lot over the years. Where Bolano's uh, IGA store sits now. Very interesting. <laughs> well, just finished up breakfast here at the shack, uh, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Cherry Grove. Um, go ahead. Okay, so um, I got one of the shack favorites. It was called Loaded Trash. It was. Don't that sound good? <laughs> Had some really heart healthy stuff in it <laughs> um so basically it's a bowl of grits um they crumble up sausage um crumble up bacon put some cheese in it and then put an egg on top however you want your egg fix and i just said over medium um i think it was only like 5.99 and then i added a side of toast um it was good it was flavorful <laughs> he said it'll lay heavy on your chest probably <laughs> but um i mean it's basically just a breakfast all mashed together yeah I, I, I like stuff like that um, there was a lady sitting at the table kind of across from us, and she said that they make their sausage fresh here, 
I think that's what she said, but she, or she's maybe it was local. I don't. Did you hear her say that? I'd say it's more local than I would. Yeah, because I was thinking I don't know how to make sausage here, yeah. but it was good. It was very flavorful. Um, so my breakfast was good. Um, <clears throat> our waitress, she was real attentive, real nice, and she was like explaining some of the local dishes and stuff that they serve here for lunch or dinner. Um, so it was good. I enjoyed it. I've seen it very busy here and busy one, time of the summer, so it wasn't yeah, bad Yeah, it wasn't too today. bad. It's still February, so yeah. off season here. It's a little chilly with the wind, but I mean, it's supposed to be a pretty nice day today, so mm -hmm. uh, kind of wish I'd worn a sweatshirt, but anyway, I had basically just a basic breakfast, uh, two eggs, bacon, toast, and grits, um, so I actually told her I was trying to be smart. I said, uh, I said, I want you to record me putting sugar on my grits because I know that bothers some people. But uh, I had a few comments when I did that at Crockett's. That's the way I eat my grits. I put sugar on them. Uh, once I get a couple packs of sugar, they're ready to go. Uh, love grits that way. Um, so the, t the eggs, I will say something. Those are probably, without a doubt, the smallest eggs I've ever gotten in any <laughs> restaurant. I, I guess the thing with the eggs, either chickens are cutting back or they're buying smaller eggs. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the eggs were small. They were good. I mean, there were no complaints there. But... Uh, the prices were pretty reasonable, very reasonable too, uh, so not complaining there. Uh, but the eggs were good, the toast was really good. Uh, that it buttered really good. Yeah, buttered wheat toast, I like that. Mm -hmm. The grits were good. I mean, I just had a basic breakfast, so, you know, um, it's hard to mess up eggs. The only thing I guess if I had to say I wish they would do a little different is y'all saw the plate. They had the grits on the plate, and usually most places do serve you grits maybe in a separate little bowl. I wish they had done that because it's like when you cut into the egg and the yellow yolks running everywhere, it's kind of hard to keep it out of the grits. So, you know, maybe that would just be a suggestion. Not, not a big deal. Everything was good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd do it again. Maybe come back for one of the lunch specials uh, sometime. Yeah. So, she, our waitress was telling us about something they have called um, chicken bog, which I've heard of. But I just, we don't live in the low country, so I wasn't really sure. The, I think it's kind of like a cross made between Brunswick stew and uh, like gumbo, but it's not spicy. And she said there's no liquid in it. Oh, it's no just moist. It. Okay. All right. She said that there used to grow a lot of rice in this So that'd area. be something to try sometime. Yeah, if you want to try something local. Yeah. Besides fish. All right, but overall, good experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Shack, uh, Sea Mountain Highway, Highway 9, Cherry Grove, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So if you're in this area, check it out. And like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.